Ghost Rider issue number 12 from Marvel Comics. The only thing from Marvel that I'm reading. <laughs> the only thing from the big two. Well, I guess the only other thing I was reading from the big two was uh, Sergeant Rock versus the Army of the Undead. But other than that, Marvel Ghost Rider is pretty much the only thing. Uh, it's been really good so far. It's had its hiccups, which I've talked about in the past. But this one is a pretty good issue. It's basically setting up for the next arc. So I felt like the previous issue was kind of like the epilogue, or I guess the in-between of the two arcs. So you just had uh, one giant arc, and then that ended. And then you kind of had the last issue. And then now this issue feels like the setup for the next arc. And it starts with our heroes, Johnny and Talia, going to Savannah. And um, some cops try to stop them from getting in. But they deal with the cops. They go inside. And it's just chaos. Uh, Johnny goes on his own. He basically turns into Ghost Rider. And he tells Talia to stay back. And rushes in. And then, of course, Talia is like, you know, you're not doing this without me. So she falls behind. But um, she ends up in a different part of Savannah. And Savannah is just a giant hellhole right now. Everything is destroyed. Everything is on fire. It's basically hell on earth. All these demons have risen up. But a lot of them are also dead. There's just like dead demons strung up everywhere. And it's kind of like, okay, what the hell is going on? Because all the humans are burning, but all the demons are dead too. Like something just came in and just slaughtered everybody. And um, Johnny sees one demon that's dying, but still alive. And it summons a bunch of undead out of the earth. And um, as Johnny's fighting them, the demon is basically saying that it was you who did all this. You're the one who, who did this. We had a, uh, a truce. It might not have been the greatest truce, but like we lived underground and we fed off of the humans above. Like fed off their fears, their emotions and stuff like that. So there was like a, a, a truce in a sense. And you destroyed that when you came and you started slaughtering everybody, including the demons and humans. I'm pretty sure you can kind of guess where that's going. What other ghost rider is out there? I'm sure you know. So after we get a moment of Ghost Rider slaughtering everybody, we cut to Talia and Johnny. And we get kind of like a funny moment where uh, Johnny's just like his pants are burnt, his shirt is burnt. And he's just going around grabbing clothes off the rack and putting them on. Everyone's just kind of staring at him like, what the hell just happened with these two people? And um, that's when Talia decides to hold a ritual where she's going to jump into Johnny's mind. Um, she's basically, she puts a bunch of salt in this uh, hot tub and slices Johnny's hand to spill some blood into it. And she's going to go in and she's going to merge him, emerge herself into, um, into Johnny. Like she's going to see the blood that binds his arteries and the branches of his family, uh, everything that was like all your history and the ghost writers. I'm going to see everything. And uh, I'm going to see who we're dealing with. And I'm pretty sure you can guess. I'm just going to say it. It's not really a spoiler. It's Danny. So Danny has somehow been brainwashed. We actually see Danny in this issue. He looks kind of weird. Kind of different. He, um, he doesn't look so much like a ghost writer. He looks more like something out of like a sci-fi, you know, cyberpunk horror series. He's wearing a helmet that looks something straight out of uh, like the Weapon X helmet and um yeah he has like all these like tubes and wires and stuff it's just it's kind of interesting i'll be honest with you guys i've never been a fan of the danny character i will say though that i haven't read volume three of ghost rider so volume two of ghost rider was the very first introduction to johnny blaze because volume one of ghost rider is the um the old west I think, what was it called before? The Pell Rider or something like that. And then it got changed to the Ghost Rider. And then Volume 2 was the very first time we see Johnny. And it was like his story. And I think Volume 3 from the 90s was Danny Ketch. His run, right? Where Danny takes over the Ghost Rider. I never read that. I did read other stuff with Danny. And I didn't care for any of them. Then again, maybe it's because like the one arc that really stands out to me with Danny is the one where he... like becomes evil and he starts trying to kill all the other ghost riders and stuff um and he's basically like throwing up the balance between good and evil and stuff by doing that so everyone has to try to stop him so maybe my view of him is skewed in that regard i just never cared for him as a character so yeah not the biggest fan of him 
coming back but i know like other ghost rider fans are excited for that so hopefully you know it's good i don't know i guess i would like to see new enemies like i said like exhaust would have been like a perfect enemy to uh focus on but he was just kind of built up and then just kind of tossed out like yesterday's garbage (laughs) um but yeah like i said this is this is setting up this is basically setting up for johnny versus danny so I'm assuming this is going to be uh, Danny going around, just causing hell on earth, wiping out towns and cities, killing demons and humans alike, causing mass destruction, and Johnny trying to chase after him and not only clean up after his mess, but also stop him and get him to see the light again. So I guess we'll see where that goes. Artwork is great as always. I do like the characters of Johnny and Talia. They're like teamwork and stuff like that there was some good action in this one with johnny fighting the demons in savannah and um intermixed with some lightheartedness so yeah overall good issue i enjoyed it not as great as some of the previous issues i've done but still not that bad like i would give it like uh c plus b minus somewhere around there I do enjoy the series so far. So like, this isn't like one of those where it's like, oh, okay, this series is starting to lose its plot. It's not. It's just, like, like I said, it's just not as strong as other uh, issues in the series have been. But there have also been some weaker issues in this series as well. So still a great series. Still highly recommend checking it out. So yeah, I guess we'll, we'll see where this goes. But it also seemed kind of short. I think it's because a lot of it had to do with action. It was like a lot of fight scenes between Johnny and the demons. So everything just kind of... So it's a really quick, quick read is what I'm getting at here. But there you go. There's Ghost Rider issue number 12. I liked it. I thought it was good. Better than Radiant Black. <laughs> Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Take care. Later. So what did you guys think of that video? I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys haven't already, please subscribe, hit that bell for a notification, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't enjoy the video, thank you for watching it this far, and I hope the next video is more to your liking. Feel free to check out the playlist that you guys see, and I hope to see you guys next time. Later.